Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on my channel and in today's video I'm going to be discussing whether each villain in Ninjago up to Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 1 is evil or like pure evil or whether they have just been broken. Now I'm going to start by Garmadon, the original Garmadon. He was the first villain that was spoken of by Master Wu in Ninjago Pilot, so I'm going to start with him. Now, I honestly think he is pure evil because he's never really been broken except for when he was good. Now, in saying that he's pure evil, he's not pure evil because he wanted to be pure evil, obviously. But he he cannot help that he was pure evil, but he was not broken. So, yeah. Now we're going to move on to the next vi villain, which is Semakai. Now, Semakai, I believe, he... He wasn't, um, sorry. Samakai is pure evil as he has always been. He's a skeleton. I've known no other reason to find him broken. He's pure evil. And the same with our next villain, Pythor. And moving on to the Overlord. Now, the Overlord is pure evil. We can definitely say that. And so far, all of our villains have been pure evil. Overlord is pure evil. He is the embodiment of evil and destruction himself. So, yeah, he is the most evil person I think there would be in Ninjago so far. Um, our next villain is Cryptor. Now, Cryptor, he is pure evil. He was made pure evil by the Overlord. He's just pure evil. Now, our next villain is Klaus. Now, Klaus is pure evil. However, we have had no means to say that he has been broken. He could have been broken, but we have no proof of that. So I'm just going to say he's pure evil. And Chen, um, he could be pure evil, but then again, he did explain to Kai that he was never born with elemental powers. And um, that's why he turned evil he did explain that to kai when they were looking through all of his fancy stuff in that hall thing inside the big place where they were all fighting and everything but um yeah i'm just gonna say that he's pure evil just because i don't want to say that he's broken when he wasn't actually broken he was just a pure evil villain because of that but um now we're going to move on to our next villain, which is Moro. Moro was a broken villain. I'm going to say that. He wasn't pure evil because we saw in the flashbacks that Moro was told by Wu that he was going to be the green ninja. And he was broken by the fact that, well, Destiny said no, he wasn't going to be the green ninja. So he wanted to defy Destiny. You guys probably all know that story, so I'm going to say that he is our first official broken vi villain in this video. Now we're going to move on to Nata Khan. Nata Khan could have been broken because he um, had to leave his... Well, he left his homeland, and when he returned, um, it was destroyed because of the ninja's doing of destroying the preeminent, the cursed realm. However, I'm going to say he's pure evil because we had no other means to prove that he was a broken villain. So, the Time Twins. Now, the Time Twins, I'm going to say, um, they probably are pure evil, but they just... To me, they don't seem like they would just start out pure evil, but you guys may disagree with that. I'm going to say that they are pure evil, though, because we have no proof that they have been broken in any way, shape, or form. They just thought that their power was superior to everyone else's, so they wanted to take over. Um, so they are pure evil villains. Now we're going to move on to our next villain, which is Harumi. Harumi is definitely a broken villain. She pretty much watched her parents say goodbye to her and pretty much, yeah, watched the building that her parents was in fall to pieces because of the Great Devourer attack, and she blamed the ninja for that. She is most certainly a broken villain. By the way, she is also my favourite villain. I just love her in that season. She was what made that season my favourite Ninjago season. Um, but that is for another video. So, yeah, she was a broken villain. Ultraviolet is pure evil. She's off her head. She's crazy. Um, Kilo is 
prom he was pure evil, but we did see in season eleven that he was trying to make amends. Um, Mr. E is pure evil, as we said. Mr. E, he's well, not as we said, but he's a robot. He was programmed to be pure evil. He has no, he couldn't be broken. He doesn't have feelings like Zane. Um, and then moving on to our next villain, which is the most evil Gamadon. He's pure evil. He was brought back pure evil. He has not been broken. He was just pure evil from the beginning. The Omega, pure evil again. Iron Baron, pure evil. Um, and Asphira. Asphira was more... I'm going to say Asphira was a broken villain because... Um, because of what Wu did to her, but then again, she did want to learn Spinjitsu to take over her kingdom. But I'm just going to say that she's a broken villain because of um, when we saw her as an actual villain facing the ninja, she was coming back because she was broken by Master Wu. So, yeah, that's basically... Yeah, Master Wu was the one... Well, I don't want to blame Master Wu for everything, but still. Um, Asphira was a broken villain. The Ice Emperor wasn't really a villain. I mean, we saw that, so... Um, what was the... Oh, never mind. Unagami was definitely a broken villain in his childhood. He was abandoned, not that he really had much of a childhood. He was a computer program, but he is a... was... is a broken villain, whatever you want to call it. The Skull Sorcerer. Now, here's a hot topic for you. He is pure evil, although he probably wouldn't seem to be pure evil. He is pure evil um, because he couldn't be... We haven't seen that he was broken. Um, now, Kalmar. He could have been broken because, you know, his father, like, um, adopted another kid and cherished that other kid, obviously cherishing him as well. But there was another child in the picture. So you could say that Kalmar was broken, but I'm going to just say that he's pure evil because when we did see him in the flashback scenes, he wanted to reawaken the serpent back then as well. So, yeah, he's pure evil. The Overlord, again, pure evil. Um, yeah, you can't really argue with that. And Lord Ras is pure evil. Um, I'm saying this because we haven't seen any other... As of the time of recording this video, Lord Ras seems to me to be pure evil. Um, and Empress Beatrix, I honestly think that she has been broken because her sister was cherished as a child and because she had an elemental power, so... And that's probably why she hated the ninja so much, because they had elemental powers. Um... Yeah, so Empress Beatrix was broken. Now, that wraps up all of the villains in today's video. And if you enjoyed today's video, uh, it would be much appreciated if you supported me by following me. And you can do that by liking and subscribing. See ya.